in a world, one man, one dildo, <laughs> three bottles of lube, one puppy dog. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> no, you're not. Right. Welcome back, people of everywhere. This is my little brother, Matthew, who has been trying to get in one of these videos for quite some time now, but I'm just now letting him out of his cage. We just saw the movie, I Can Only Imagine, and I know this is supposed to be Musical March, but I'm fitting it in here because La La Land didn't really work out this week. But this movie is about the guy who is a lead singer of a band and he wrote a super popular song, so it fits, I guess? Good enough. Yeah. I Can Only Imagine follows the story of Bart Willard, the lead singer of the Christian rock band Mercy Me. It is his life story leading up to the point where it's... To the point where he writes their number one song, I Can Only Imagine. When we heard that our grandmother was going to be taking us to see this movie today, we both thought it was a terrible idea. I was about to say, sorry, I kind of left my dog in the oven. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Because all I knew about Christian movies was stuff like God's Not Dead, God's Not Dead 2, Fireproof, and I think they are all just the cheesiest thing in the world. They all just shove Jesus down your throat. Yeah whether you want it to happen or not. It's kind of like Jesus raping you. Oh. But we uh, eventually ended up going and... Well, I, I will say there are a lot of things that I thoroughly enjoyed about it. I thought the guy playing Bart had a really great singing voice. Better than the real Bart. Yeah. And I, I don't know the actor's name but I thought he gave a really good performance. Like, I would honestly rather go listen to him perform live than... Well, I, I don't even just mean his singing performance. I mean, like, no, his, his entire, acting. Yeah, his acting performance. Like, in the movie, there it shows you his troubled youth, mm -hmm. and his father turned out to be the not-so-best of person, to say the least. It's like, another thing I like it is... Like we said earlier, it doesn't just shove Jesus at you. Mm. It's kind of like hinted here and there. Maybe maybe uh, it was subtle with it. But even when it <clears throat> does get into the Christian elements with Bart, sure, he's a Christian. He's in a band that you know ends up making Christian music, but that's really just a part of his character. It's not like the movie is saying either you're a Christian or you're a dirtbag. It also shows how cutthroat some of the music industry really is. Oh, without a doubt. Like Yeah, like I, I kind of wanted to punch some of the <laughs> uh some of the record labels. That yeah. Year. And they were like, mm, "No, you suck. You're just not good enough." Like that was one of the moments when that was happening that the guy who plays Bart, I was like, he's giving a really good performance like, here. When he had the actual feeling of he was about to kill them. Yeah, he, he was, was pissed. Yeah, he was upset. Another thing that really came through his performance, he was so likable. Like he would just seem like a really cool guy. Like even the like in the beginning of the movie, it shows him as a child. Even that kid had a very believable performance, mm -hmm. and. You don't really see that out of many child Chris Christian-based movies, oh, or much that, less child. Yeah. Because, like I've said before, with child actors, I either think they're fantastic, or I think they should never be on a screen. Um, <laughs> kid from Bob Duke. <laughs> but even this kid who played really young Bart, he gave a good performance. Really, there wasn't a bad performance in the movie, I don't think. If any... F you disagree? At the beginning, the mom... Well, I guess I could see that, her not giving the best performance with what she was given. But other than that, almost every performance, I think, was really well handled. They, they did a great job with uh, pos positioning what happens when, mm. but probably the biggest problem was how long it was going on. The movie had a really hard time of saying this amount of time has passed between these two instances. Really, the only hint you'll get is one character's been like, oh, it's been so and so many years since this happened. And it's like, wait, that was just the last I, scene. Yeah, what do I, you could have, I could have swore we were just talking about this. Yeah. But I felt like um, it's based on a true story, mm -hmm. but 
it felt like a lot of it never really happened because it was so perfectly placed that you have, you ever heard somebody say, "Wow, it could have just like how the way thing happened, they could have just said that should have been a movie, or that could have been a movie, it couldn't have been better." Well, you're telling me this guy's whole life was perfectly set up for a movie. It's kind of hard to believe. So, I kind of picture a lot of it was put in there, and it felt really generic at some point. Like, I can believe the dad having problems with the son, because there's tons of children who grew up with an alcoholic father. Like, like tons of stars have had yeah. a ton of horrible problems in their life. But I can, I can see, though, how some of it was probably... Man added. manufactured for the movie. Or maybe there's another term, not lying, just exaggerating. Yeah, it. exaggerating the truth, yeah. Another thing was, is you said all the acting was good and it was. It was very believable. But I think some of the writing was a bit off. Okay. Like, there's a scene where somebody gets hit in the head with a plate, and no, they okay. take it like a man. Yeah. I mean, like, they, he gets hit, and he just turns yeah. around like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this plate gets shattered across the back of his head, and he just kind of jumps up. He gets up like, boy, no, you, 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 you. If a ceramic plate gets cracked across your head, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. There's also the whole thing as of Christian movie has to have these one-liners. They mm. always do. God, God can forgive you, but I can't. Right. Uh, yeah. Although that was a pretty good one. Yeah, I know that. That <laughs> one was. I'm not saying that one was cheesy. <laughs> so overall, I did not expect to like this movie at all. Like I was dreading going to see it, but when I walked out of the theater, I was very pleasantly surprised with what I saw. I'm going to give. I can only imagine an A minus. Like he said, whenever you went there, you weren't expecting much. And I got more than I thought I was going to get, which I was okay. I was pretty okay with that. I wasn't upset. It just it made my time enjoyed while I was there. If I was with a friend and he really wanted to go to see the movie, I would probably say, all right, we can go see it. I would actually watch it again now that I'm actually thinking about it. But me personally, I would give it an A. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching and tuning in, even though I'm kind of bending the rules for Musical March. Nope, it was about music. Yeah, exactly. Name, it's named after a song. Uh, yeah. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.